Hi guys, we are here for another episode of TSL Archives. The TSL stands for Tidewater Summer League, the place where I broadcast and we feature a bunch of baseball players. Today I'm here with my good friend. Can you tell us what's your name, how old are you, and where you're from? Uh, my name's Nilu Churchurillo. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Bennington, Vermont. It's Vermont. So you're from like the New England-ish area. Yeah. So what's your team? Yeah, uh, surprisingly, I'm a Mets fan. Really? My dad's from Queens. Oh, okay. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. My dad's a Mets fan too. My dad's from Sweet. Brooklyn. Sweet. So, what's your relationship with Tidewater Summer League? Your player, coach, intern? Uh, this is my first summer here playing as a player, and uh, so far it's pretty great. Nice. You also like help out on the field. Uh, after yeah, yeah. I help do the field sometimes after the games, rake and drag and that kind of stuff. Nice. That's good, man. That's good. You probably get a little money on that one too, right? So, yeah, I think I get a little bit of money off the total cost. That's really good, yeah. So it makes sense why in turn as well after the game why it takes a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Why did you cho uh, choose to play at Tidewater Summer League? Um, I think it's really good competition. I think it's a good thing that it's mixed of uh, college players from all divisions. Uh, it's good to see some other stuff, see some better fielding maybe, some better pitching too. Mm -hmm. it, like you play, um, what college do you play at by the way? I go to Ithaca College. Okay, nice. So, is it like pretty cool to be playing like college players different weeks here? Is that one of the appeals of? Yeah, it's really interesting to see a lot of different players from a lot, all over the place. But also, there are some players that I played against during the school season, and it's cool to see them down here really? too. Wow, it must be yeah. That's that's really cool. You get to see players from your own conference and all yeah. that stuff. Nice. What do you like best about playing here? Um, Tyler or some week? I think just. Uh, all you have to worry about is get up and play baseball every day. You gotta make sure your laundry is clean, but that's about <laughs> it. Get up and play ball. I yeah, might need to clean some of that. Definitely. But yeah, so you said you play, you like basically like wake up and you play baseball. So like, tell me the normal day of a baseball player here. Um, well, it depends on whether we play at one or four. Um, usually I try to get up and do some type of stretching, swimming, or some type of lifting in the morning. Um, then I go have some food and then get ready for the games. And depending on the time, I might go hit or just try and get my body loose before the game. <laughs> yeah, wow. So you like you lift, you play, you probably take I.O. and all that yeah. stuff. So that really is a full day of baseball. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like being a major leaguer. Yeah, get yeah. to the field early, play all day, and then do it all again tomorrow. Yeah, it's kind of the closest thing to it that we can, yeah. can have. That's cool. So, how did you get into baseball? You said your parents are uh, Mets fans, so did that help a bit? Yeah, I mean, I just played baseball since before I can remember. I signed up for T-ball, and it's been uh, game over since then. <laughs> how old were you when you uh, started T-ball? Five? Maybe four? We were late to the T-ball game a little bit. I was? I think, don't, don't people start T-ball like two to three years old or something? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I guess I got a little catching up to do. <laughs> So, what's your background with baseball? What are some of your accomplishments with baseball? And just back, brag about yourself with baseball. Um, well, my school, the, my baseball program is not super good, but um, I was the only vars sophomore on varsity in high school. I played varsity for three years. Um, I played at two different colleges, LaSalle and now Ithaca. Um, had a pretty good year this year. Had a, had a bunch of doubles, had a bunch of stolen bases. Nice. Um, Wish I could have kept that rolling a little bit more in the summer, but still got some more games and more ball to come. So you're a fast gap hitter. Yeah. That's kind of your MO? Uh-huh. That's cool. Just right center gap, left center gap, up the middle. Yeah. That's where I try to be. Hit the weight room, then start hanging out of the ballpark? Mm-hmm. Nice. And how come you transferred from uh, LaSalle to Ithaca? Um, just the school itself wasn't for me. The, okay. the baseball program was great, but the school itself was not where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. But Ithaca's awesome. Nice. Uh, a great baseball program and a great school. What's it, who, who, which baseball program do you think was better? Um, I think definitely Ithaca. Ithaca's more been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. Coach Val actually just retired after 41 years. Really? And I think LaSalle's only been around for seven or eight years. Oh, really? Wow. That's a really young uh, baseball team. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you said you played ball at Ithaca. So, tell me about the day in the life of a college baseball player. Um, well, 
um, try to get up, depending on when you got class, say I got a 9 o'clock class, I'll get up, maybe go swimming in the pool in the a &E Center, uh, or lift, and then go to class, um, probably have a bunch of classes back to back, um, then go to practice, and then that's it, or another day I might have a little space in, in between my classes in the middle of the day, mm -hmm. I'll go throw, hit, something, but just always try to stay busy doing something, always try to get better and not waste any time during the day, and then almost every day we have practice in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. How do time. yeah definitely? How do pra like just days where you practice differ from the games you have games? Like, is there any difference in schedule for it? Um, a bit. Usually on game days, I won't lift or I'll go really light. I'll generally swim in the morning. Um, probably do some homework in during my gap if I have that during the day because mm -hmm. game days are long, especially when you have a midweek game and you got to travel. Mm -hmm. So you really are the definition of a student athlete. Yeah. What uh? What's your major, by the way? Uh, environmental science and biology. Really? Wow. So you're a science guy. Yeah. I know. What made you get into those? Uh, I don't know. I'm just my background being from Vermont. The way my family is just really always cared about the environment and like you need the environment or you can't play baseball. Like, <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Exactly. Yeah. So, what do you like about Tidewater Summer Week, and what can be improved about Tidewater Summer Week? Um, definitely the food situation can be improved. We don't get dinner, or really a good breakfast. Um, I think maybe, depending on some of the weather events, they could have moved up the games from maybe have them at 11 and 1 versus mm -hmm. 1 and 4 and try and get some more games in and avoid the weather and not have as many cancellations. Um, but... I don't really have much to complain about. It's really kind of on your own. You um, you can either lounge around all day and do nothing and just show up to the games, or you can make the most of the, your time here, go to the cage, go to the weight room, go to the pool, mm -hmm. anything. Um, but yeah, I think it's really great that they have these facilities open to us, and mm -hmm. I think if they didn't, that would be a real setback for the Tidewater Summer League. Mm -hmm. Definitely sounds like you're taking full advantage of it. I'm trying to. Yeah. As we came out here, you came out here to get better. Exactly. You feel like you have gotten better here? I definitely feel like I've gotten better and played against some good competition and um, got a, people are hitting the balls a little harder, getting a little more different reads off the ball mm -hmm. or off the bat in the outfield and stuff. People are throwing hard. You get you see some good players and know where you got to go and you can really see where you can improve in your own game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always good to play up, and especially where in this league we have uh, college players from like D1, D2, D3, JUCO. Mm -hmm. So it must be pretty cool to like you know see all these types of players and compete against them. Yeah, but at the same time, when everyone's on the field, it just looks like a team. You can't really <laughs> tell. Oh, that guy's D1. Or really? That guy yeah. goes D3. But everyone, everyone just can play pretty good. It's a very. Uh, I'd be, like as like, you know, like a professional player, so I say when we get we get on the field, like it's like just nine guys out there. It's like that's mm -hmm. cool. You keep it, exactly. keep it real. It's just never a game. Yeah, that's good. All right, so this is like the last like main question. Mm -hmm. How can we do a better job about making people more interested in TSL baseball? Um, I don't know. Everything that I've heard about everyone who's played in it has been great so far. I think maybe having games at a field with lights that are more accessible to fans and stuff like that or mm -hmm. earlier in the day on the weekends or something but mm -hmm. I don't know I think I think they do a pretty good job of keeping everyone happy and stuff mm -hmm. yeah I mean having a live stream having game changer having mm -hmm. you know like parents obviously like yeah, my dad because... checks game changer every day that's great yeah so they can kind of be with you here even though they're not mm -hmm. it's good well, that was my last question for you, Nilu, so I do appreciate no it. No problem, man. Thank you for coming out. Yeah. All right. I'll see you soon. Yep. Oh, I'm so